So they say it's easy to hack a 3DS, but I got myself to asking, how easy exactly? Well, friends, that is what I'm going to answer right now. So, as usual, before we start, we need ourselves a few things. You're going to need any of the 3DS family of consoles. I'm personally going to be using the OG original model. You're also going to need an SD card, though depending on the model, you might have to use a micro SD instead. You're going to need a computer capable of reading SD cards, or an external attachment that can read them for you. And finally, you're going to need several downloads, but we'll talk about each one as the time comes. There's a lot to be sure. I also want to make a special disclaimer that it is entirely possible that you can brick your 3DS. So, you know, keep that in mind. Don't shoot the messenger. I'm just here to help as best as I can. With that said, let's get started. So we can skip section one right here because it's just to check if you have custom firmware already installed on your 3DS, which uh, probably doesn't happen unless you bought it used. So let's uh, move on and uh, go to the system version check. You can find this on your system settings and there's just a whole bunch of numbers. And then uh, if you have a U, that means United States, E, I'm assuming Europe, etc., etc. On section 3, we just select a method. I personally have an old 3DS, the OG model. So naturally, we'd click that. And I have version 11.17.05 with a U for United States. We hit confirm. And then it'll ask us to uh, choose our operating system. I'm personally using Windows, though someday it'll be Linux. And then it'll... Tell us to download a file called mset9. You're going to need mset9 and then also python. mset9 is basically you just unzip. And then uh, python is just a basic install. It shouldn't be too complicated. And if you are on Linux, for instance, you probably don't even need to install python at all. But uh, we'll just move on. So now that we have a few downloads, let's go have a look at this prep work. So let's pop our SD card into the computer. And uh, we will copy everything from mset9 to the root of your SD card. Personally, you can just extract it directly there if, uh, if you're savvy enough. And then hopefully you don't even have to replace anything. Now we hit the mset9 script. So double click that .bat file. You should see a command line looking a little something like this. So if you have the new 3DS, 2DS model, you'd most likely hit 2. But if you have the OG 3DS or 2DS model, much like I do, I'm going to hit 1. Once you plugged in a number, you can press Enter. And you should see something like this. We're going to hit 1 because uh, we need to create the mset9. Oops. If you happen to press 2 to check the mset9 status, it'll say, you don't have it. Note the disclaimer that says all your data will disappear. Now, this should not scare you. This is normal because it will reappear once again once you're all finished. I'm going to have to hit 1 one more time and hit enter once again to accept it. If you see the message created hacked ID 1 with a green OK, then everything worked correctly. And then you can press enter, get on out of there. So we can put our SD card or micro SD into the 3DS. Turn it on. And then we go to Me Maker. And if everything works right, upon entering the Me Maker app itself, we should see a little update that says creating extra data, do not remove the SD card. And then we can just move to the home menu again. Now we go to system settings data management, Nintendo 3DS, software, and then it'll ask... Wait a second. <sighs> Alright, you better work this time. There we go. It'll most likely say the SD card or the micro SD card software management information is corrupted. Reset it now. 
This will delete all software and save data. Do not worry about this at all. What it's actually gonna do is create up a temporary backup since we're going through the process of a hacked 3DS. So yes, press reset. Now you can power off your console by pressing the power button and then tapping off on the lower screen. Just hard, hard, hard turn it off, you know, just hard turn it off. And then we can put the SD card from our 3DS into our computer. Get used to this. This is going to be a thing. So once again, we will be running the MSET9 script. And we'll hit the same number from earlier. And then press enter. And when we see this screen, it should say the MSET9 state should be ready. All nice and green. And check the MSET9 status if uh, things are going wrong. We're going to hit the 2 key to check the MSET9 status. Everything's looking good. So we'll press enter and then we'll get on out of here. And then we'll reinsert the SD into our 3DS. Now we can finally start using the custom firmware installer. So once again, power on the console. Getting tired of this yet. Make sure system settings is hovered on when you turn it on. If it's not over system settings initially, just hover over it and then turn it off and on again. And then it should hover over system settings when you turn it back on. With all that said, press A to launch system settings. We're going to navigate to data management. Nintendo 3DS. And extra data. The sequence should look something like this. You should most likely see just Me Maker. So, now, at this point, we do not touch any buttons, nor do we touch the screen. These next few steps are very important. We're going to remove the SD card from the console. If it says no SD card is inserted, then we're on the right direction. Now we put the SD card back into the computer yet again. We're going to run the MSET9 script. Type the number for the console model. That's one for me again. And then press enter. Now we type three to inject MSET9. And if we're successful, you should see a message that says MSET9 successfully injected. And then we can just press enter and close the script. Now eject the SD card from the computer and put it back into the console. Once again, no touchy the buttons, no touchy the screen. If everything went right, you should see the installer screen. There'll be a quick input combo. Left, down, right, up, then A. Kind of like a Konami code of some sort. Once we do that, we can press A to reboot the console. Now the console should have booted into the Luma 3DS config menu. Black screen with white text and a couple of options you can choose from. We're going to leave it on the default settings for now. There's not really much we really need to mess with. And then we'll press start to save and to reboot. And now, and I need to stress that this is super important, we're going to have to remove MSET 9. So, with our 3DS off, we're going to insert the SD card once again into our computer, and we will once again run the MSET9 script. I think we know how it's done at this point. Type the number corresponding to... Yeah, yeah, we all, we all, we all know what... Yeah, we know, we know, we know this much. So, the current state should say injected now. So we're going to type... Four, then press enter to remove the trigger file. Then type 5, then enter to remove MSET9. Then we can press enter. We are, we are, I hope, done with the MSET9 script and all this SD card backtracking. Now the console will boot to Luma 3DS by default. Oddly enough, it does not look any different on the 3DS menu. You do get a unique intro screen on the DSi, interestingly enough. And there you go, your 3DS is modded. But wait, we're not quite done yet. For you see, 
There are quite a number of features to be added from this point onward under finalizing setup. The two I happen to like in particular are Checkpoint, which is a save manager, and God Mode 9, which I would consider to be one of the most important things to have on a DSi or a 3DS. So I'll let you guys read this on your own time. The uh, website is right here, 3ds.hacks.guide slash finalizing setup dot html you can find it there but uh let's skip on ahead to uh what we need and we will once again do some prep work there are two files we got to download here x underscore finalize underscore helper dot firm and finalize dot rom f's so we'll just download those and uh oh no we gotta put the sd card in the computer yet again <laughs> We're gonna put finalize.romfs to the root of the SD card. And if we have a payloads folder from the Luma folder, uh, we're gonna put x finalize helper.firm to the payloads folder of that Luma folder. And the website is nice enough to show us uh, what an example layout should look like with our file locations. But with that out of the way, we're now going to update the system. Let us eject the SD card again. Now we can reinsert the SD card to the console. Please let this be the last time. We're going to go update the 3DS by going to system settings, then other settings, then going all the way and find system update. You're going to need a Wi-Fi connection. Remember that. Kind of, kind of important. I don't have this Wi-Fi. And then we can update the console. It'll most likely say your system is up to date. But uh, at this point we can continue to the next section if so. So right here we gotta sync up the 3DS internal clock with the actual time and dump the sound firmware. At any point in time, preferably in the home menu, We'll press the L button, or the left shoulder, depending on the 3DS you have. D-pad down, and select at the same time, and we will open up the Rosalina menu. From this menu, we can select miscellaneous options. Select dump dark side fill firmware. And once that's done, we can press B to continue. Now we're going to select Nullify User Time Offset. And then press B, B, B once again until we're out of the Rosalina menu. And now we are at the final stretch, the setup script. This will be the part that puts in all the homebrew apps. So let's turn off our 3DS. We're going to press and hold X and then hit power with X still held. This in turn will launch the finalizing setup helper, or God Mode 9, I think. So now we currently have God Mode 9, we can just access it by pressing start before powering on the console. So if you're prompted to create an essential files backup, press A, then press A to finish it up. Likewise, if you're prompted to fix the real time clock, press A to do so. Now we can press home to bring up the action menu. We're going to select scripts. And then we'll select finalize. This part gets a little bit easy to handle. You just basically follow what God Mode 9 wants you to do. As long as you're okay with it, just press A for yes. Writing to Sysnand is locked. Unlock it now. Yes. And if you want to proceed, press up, down, left, down, then A. You might get something different from what I do. Just follow the prompts. And then it'll finalize and inject the .cia files for all the homebrew applications. And now setup is complete. We can now press A to finish everything up. All right, so now that we've finished everything, let's see what we got. So we can see the new software has been added. You can see FBI. Uh, you can see uh, a demo for some reason. Uh, checkpoint, homebrew launcher, I uh, don't know what that is, uh, I think that might be an FTP, but there's FBI. This is an updater, 
This is Homebrew Launcher. This is specifically if you're using .3ds X files. And Checkpoint, my personal fave. Very useful. And then we will insert the SD card. No. 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 It's just backups. You're just deleting some extra files. It's not that big a deal. You can do this on your own time. I'm not dealing with this. We are done. We're done. Done. All right. And that is modding slash hacking your 3DS. So long story short, is the 3DS actually that easy to mod? And for that, I'll say yes, sorta. I got a separate video to explain my thoughts more thoroughly, but uh, a yes, kinda. Anyway, that'll be it. Later, everybody.